All right, I was just going through some of the leather that I have stored up here, and I found some uh, kind of questionable pieces sitting up there. Just some vegetable tan stuff. It's actually really quality leather. I think it's Wicked and Craig tooling, but it's been sitting up there so long that it's kind of been tanned weird. We got kind of a weird tan line going on here. Some nasty belly area. But I've had kind of a hankering to pull out one of my older patterns, the number 60 satchel, which was just kind of a beefy saddle type bag. The bags that you see on our site are a little bit more technical with binding and skiving and turn seams and I wanted to get back in touch with my roots. I just want to mix it up a little bit, make a bag that's real simple but sturdy and rugged and beautiful. And I'm going to use this 8 to 9 ounce tooling leather that's just been kind of forgotten and give it some purpose in life. This is good leather, but there's definitely some marks, scratches, and I think I'm gonna have kind of a hard time finding a good enough spot to get these big pieces cut out, but let's make it happen. We gotta give this leather some purpose.
Ini dah. And there it is, the finished product. If there was a beauty in the beast of leather bags, this would be the beast. This thing turned out pretty rough because like I was saying before, I used a pretty low grade uh, piece of leather and it was actually a few different hides kind of combined. So some of them have a little bit more of a reddish hue, some have more yellow. You can see that on the back. Some of it's a little tighter grain. Got a little bit loose up here. The, the grain's real weak right here. It's not gonna rip or anything. It's just not very pretty. So that's kind of the theme of this whole bag. It's not pretty at all. There's a lot of mistakes and dings and like uh, marks. And I don't know why, but I love it. This bag is so gratifying to make. I was getting a little nostalgic making this one because I used to make our bags out of, uh, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 ounce leather. And they always just come out feeling really beefy and chunky and I mean, you can hear that hear that squeak like a saddle um, I really miss that it comes out a little bit heavier but I don't know some people might like that I know I do but it's still pretty easy to access you got the tuck locks uh, you can fit a you know 13 or 15 inch laptop in there it's just a wide open space nothing fancy this bag definitely falls more into the category of the Western tack gear that originally inspired me to get into the leather craft if this were mine, I'd just go set it out in the sun for a little bit, get some exposure, maybe oil it a couple more times. It really drank it up. But the good news is I'm gonna give this away to somebody. So around the time that this video gets posted, I'm also going to upload or post an Instagram reel of this bag. So if you have Instagram, go find that reel. And um, you look down at the bottom of the screen and there's a little paper airplane. You click on that and it'll allow you to share it to your own stories. And anybody that shares it will qualify. I'm just gonna pick somebody random uh, that's in my notification feed and send this bag out to you. So I hope that this bag's gonna make someone real happy and will last them a good long while. If you haven't seen it yet, look down below the video player and there's a list of our uh, t-shirts that we're selling now. You can pick them up right there from YouTube. Uh, this is one of them. There's a bunch of cool ones. Uh, gone Plinkin somewhere in Utah. You know, got a little single action representation in there. We got the bison shirt, which is a homage to Owen, our bison in here. And yeah, I'd love to see some of those t-shirts out and about. So uh, pick one up and let's see how you're wearing it. All right, that's it guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.